Coming up with an outfit is easy, but creating a good outfit is not. So I've got five ways to always come up with a good outfit. At least these are my go-tos and I'm gonna be showing you guys what goes on in my tiny little brain. And by the way, this video was inspired by my boy Frugal. He made a whole entire video like this. Y'all should definitely check that out. I just wanna add my spin to it or I'm just running out of video ideas. The first approach is my go-to on a lazy day where I wanna look at at least a little decent. I don't have to think and you don't have to either. You just grab yourself some white sneakers, black pants and any, and I mean any colored top. And this outfit's gonna work every single time, I promise. You can't really mess this up. It's like making instant ramen. And the best part about this approach is you're not gonna run out of any fits. You can mess with different colors, you can mess with different sizing, different cuts. Maybe you like the really slim fit look, maybe you like relaxed fitting, maybe you like to contrast the two. Endless options. So check me out. I got my classic white minimal leather sneakers, some slim black pants, and a blue top. Contrast that with the same color scheme but a different cut of pants and it's a whole different vibe. Again, this works for every single color. Salmon, olive, purple, red, yada, yada, yada. Just throw on a bunch of different colors and it'll probably work out. Now the same is going to apply with shorts. The same is going to apply if you wanna wear crew necks or hoodies. Check out this green hoodie from Alpha Industries. It has a unique cut already, so I'm just gonna mess around with the pants and throw on a different white sneaker. Maybe try on a hat this time to switch it up. You have so much options and this is my favorite technique. Plus it's gonna get you more exposed to color because I know y'all like staying in the sad boy vibe. Now the next approach is all black. Black fits. Now you would think this is quite easy to do, but you can actually mess it up quite easily. So first up, get yourself a lint removing tool. Because my dog Ahsoka is a nightmare if I wear all black. So anyways, to tackle all black, you kind of have to not do all black. Sounds kind of intuitive, I know. True all black means black accessories, black jewelry, black everything. But that just makes you look like a silhouette or you look very sus. You want to sprinkle a bit of color here and there. Utilize accessories like silver and gold jewelry, hats or beanies, and even colored sneakers. And then afterwards, you want to mess with different fabrics because cotton isn't the only fabric out there. Because you still got ripstop, tensile, bamboo, woven fabrics, ribbed fabrics, etc. These different fabrics will lead to different shades of black and texture which will add separation within your outfits while keeping it with the all black theme. Cargo pants could also add some texture or jackets with different pockets, zippers, etc. Or I highly recommend doing this, go for a very dark gray. That'll add even more separation. Just always think of it like any piece of technology that's all black. I've got a camera right here from Sony. It has an all black unibody metal construction. It's contrasted with a rubber grip, rib knobs, and an orange ring around the lens mount. And you would still call this piece of technology all black, right? Yes, you would, because you can still be all black with a pop of color. And it's the same thing with my new headphones from Hypure, the sponsor of today's video. Because one, they sound very solid. Two, it's very compact and light. Three, it's all black, so it's very low key. And with every new purchase of these headphones, Hypure is actually going to plant a tree. So once you get these inside the box, you have your charging case, the headphones itself. Like I said, I got it in this nice sleek black colorway, but they have white and pink as well if you guys are into that. And you've got different size ear tips for different ears. Plus you got your USB-C charging cable. And this entire box is recyclable. And no joke, these headphones are half the price, if not more than other brands out there. You get passive noise cancellation, 18 plus hours of battery life, a rechargeable case. And again, they will plant a tree if you pick up a pair of these at the price of $69.90. You can take calls, listen to podcasts, and overall the sound quality is pretty solid. It's great for my casual listens whenever I'm walking my dog Ahsoka or if I go to the gym. They stay in my ear and they don't fall out, which is what I always look for because I'd be doing some crazy stuff. All right, y'all, here's a quick little demonstration. Whenever it comes to headphone cases, what I always look for is that whenever you open the case, your headphones don't fall out. I've lost headphones that way and it's super annoying, but with these ones from Hype here, they don't fall out. You try as hard as you can, they won't fall out. And another thing I look out for is for the headphones to stay in my ear. No matter how hard I try, doesn't fall out and that is another way I've lost some headphones and this stays in my ear. I don't know about you, but I have some pretty weird shaped ears. That's why I love these headphones. And all these videos are now edited with these headphones. The charging case is light and compact, something that I really look out for, and it has a satisfying snap. Definitely recommend picking up these headphones. All you guys gotta do is click that link in the description, check out Hype here, pick up a pair of these headphones. It definitely helps me out. You're gonna get a solid pair of headphones, plus you're gonna plant a tree at the same time. Thank you, Hype here, for sponsoring this video. 
let's get back to the fits now next up is to utilize color theory to create a good outfit now because of the first approach you've already been exposed to some color that's good that's why i was there first so you can start getting some color now it's time to embrace color and it's actually quite easy to do so let's start off with a little something called complementary colors these are colors opposite sides of the color wheel just think about why everyone mentions wearing brown dress shoes with a navy suit well brown and navy are actually blue and orange which are opposite sides of the color wheel those are complementary colors only those colors have black added to it and this is how you get an infinite spectrum of different colors now another favorite of mine is red and green and i like to mess with the tones of that and so i lean more towards olive and maroon and it could be regular green and maroon they don't have to be the same exact tone or shade just pick some colors from opposite sides of the color wheel you can move more towards pastel totally up to you just get creative with it have fun now let's talk about analogous colors Analogous colors are colors right next to each other on the color wheel. Now you can roll with the warmer colors, but I do find those a little bit harder to pull off. But the cooler colors like blue, green, and purple, I think most of us would find easier to style because we already have some olive pants or olive shirts or some blue denim, and that's a great way to get started. So here you see me in olive corduroy pants, an olive hoodie, and a denim utility jacket. Those are analogous colors, blue and green, but I also use complementary colors by pairing it with these Air Force Ones that do have a pop of orange complementing the blue from the jacket and eventually the more that you do this the more you'll start to find your type of color blocking method like for me i'm surprised y'all let me get away with this for years white sneakers olive pants black top and an orange beanie plus you also got monochromatic where you stick to the same color scheme just with different shades or i also like the gradient method which is where you stay in the gray scale spectrum of white and black and both of those are great as well now another outfit that always works is if you just lean into it whatever item it is just grab that piece and ask yourself what is the first thing that comes to mind when you look at that piece let's just say it's a technical jacket well you've got athleisure and tech wear to embrace so cargo pants are going to look great you got boots and runners sling bags caps and pouring water on yourself just so you can feel something now let's just say leather dress boots or chelsea boots the first thing i think about is more smart and casual vibes or the slp look so trousers, a dress shirt with some nice jewelry, or maybe slimmer pants with a slim fitting black jacket as well, and then a bunch of jewelry. Now what about a work jacket? Well, throw on some cargo, some boots, maybe a trucker hat you got a workwear fit. Communities are built off different aesthetics. You can just look at the techwear clothing subreddits. There's a lot of dope fits there. And another way of leaning into it is embracing an already color blocked item. Check out these shorts from Amelie on door. You've got cream, bright green, and black. So I embrace that with the rest of my fits by throwing on a green cap, a cream shirt, and this Y3 bandana with the Nija 2s. It's just a fun way to be playful with an item while creating a pretty decent fit. And last but not least is my favorite approach contrast pairing up items that shouldn't go together with each other and some of the best fits have come about because of it but fair warning you're gonna have a lot of misses like just for example jerry lorenzo's seventh collection who would have thought that sweats and an overcoat would look really good together i mean overcoats are normally seen on wall street dudes while sweats are normally for just lounging and being lazy the contrast between the two made for a pretty solid collection now i personally like throwing on technical cargos with some smart button-up shirts and this gives you a smart tech look that that I really appreciate. I mean, you got the technical fashion, which is used for the outdoors, hiking, raining, and all that, while smart button ups are just for the workplace. The two really shouldn't work out together, but somehow they do. Here's the ACG cargos paired up with this a cold wall button up and some converses or you've got these other ACG cargos paired with a technical tank for breathability and contrasting the rest of the fit with a button up from Uniqlo that has a mandarin collar. And I even finished this fit with some hiking sneakers and somehow it works. The whole point of this is to get creative with it and have fun. And that's just what fashion is man. You got to have fun with it. You can't be sticking to your comfort zone all the time. Contrast makes fashion a lot more enjoyable and the most abnormal pairings tend to be the best ones so go to your closet try some of these techniques out come up with some dope fits because i want to see them you can share your fits with me by joining my vibely community this is a community where you can join and submit your fits for some feedback you can join for some giveaways if you guys haven't already follow me on instagram and tiktok at fly with johnny ty definitely subscribe and give this video a thumbs up until then stay fly check out hype here deuces